before the crystal is really bad. Because then this means, like, I didn't even have enough experience to do 311. It literally would end up, like, the crystal experience would pretty much end up giving me this. But nope. Might as well just go for that pee back up today. Well, that's definitely not a pee bag. Yeah, I'm definitely not going for this. Definitely not going for it if there's like such a small chance I can even get it. And I just got cookie cuttered. Got a cookie cutter on my ass. Well, these next encounters are gonna be pretty bad. Two unneeded encounters. Great. Like, if I could just get one pee bag, I'd, I'd get this run up. But if I literally get no pee bags, then that's a reset. Because I definitely cannot handle 2 one without a game over. I cannot. Death Mountain is very hard when you only have attack 2. And you definitely want to have attack 4 coming in. So the issue here is... Am I really going to risk it? I don't want it. I'm not risking it. More often than not, I get like two of them. More often than not, I get two red jars in a row, which is really god awful. Okay, I definitely did not get it. Missed it by a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Clipping on the edge of adversity. I would have died if any of those touched me, so I'm pretty much dead either way. If I touched either of the ones right in front of me, I would have just gotten knocked in anyways. Bullshit. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can get one P if I can get one two hundred P back, that'd be great. Pretty much just get pretty much just get one and then I pretty much don't have to do that skull bubble kill. Nor would I have to do some other stupid stuff along the way. Because, like, seriously, getting no pee bags whatsoever is absolutely bad. Because then I have to... Because then I'm forced to go 2-1-2 into Death Mountain, which I definitely have no possible chance of doing. Considering my low skill level, there's no possible way I could just do it. Like, I can't simply just do... 2-1-2 Death Mountain start. But I'm already wanting to get 4-1-1. Or at least something like that coming in. Death Mountain, like, really. Pretty much the start of the run. Like, if I can get 4-1-1, then the run start, then the run started. I can pretty much tell if a run has, if a run's alive. If a run has started. If I actually get 411 out of Palace 1, though, it's like... The problem with me is I, I... I even game over in Palace 1 sometimes for some reason, like... Like, my consistency is just... garbage. Like, I'm definitely a very inconsistent speedrunner. No matter what game I pick up, it's... It's just this thing where I just die to a bunch of ridiculous stuff at really inopportune times. And often, happens more often than not. Okay, I nailed that. Alright, scoble minute? Well, I got hit. Either way, I would have to kill the, the bot. Yeah, I hit it and got hit at the same time. Oh shit, these things are after me. I get two chances for a pee bag. By pee bag, I mean two chances for a 200. Like, I have two chances. The first one's right before the candle. This guy. Nice. I don't have to. All right, I don't have to worry much. All right, now that I got that, like if I get one P bag, I'm pretty much set. Unless my experience counts and I'm going to trash. Like not getting hit by the by the little horse guys that drain your that drain your experience points when you get hit. Like seriously, you do not want to get hit by those at all. And getting hit by those are really bad. Getting hit by skull bubbles? It saps away your magic. For as long as part of it's touching Link, it saps away his magic. Sometimes there's not you're gonna be careful of too. Ah, lost my momentum. I'm trying to do a quick turnaround jump with that fairy. numbers like this, I'm pretty much good. Like, if I get a 200p bag, I'm good. Get over here. Like, if I get one p bag, I'm pretty much all set for Palace 1. I'll, def I'll have guaranteed 411. If that shit doesn't happen. If that doesn't happen, then I'm guaranteed. 
I'm just waiting for him to come back. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go 3-2-1 here. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be risky as fuck. This is risky as fuck. I have to go 3-2-1 on Death Mountain. I'll have to go attack three, which is not great. It's not great when I have to go in like this. I'm trying to make sure I input that correctly. If I get something like 3-2-1, it's kind of hard to back this up. It's kind of hard to back up a 3-2-1 in the Death Mountain. Because I need attack 4 to start, and uh... It's, that kind of got pretty far out. So it's like, I'm going to want to build up more XP than I really need to. And getting P bag drops are going to help a lot. Basically, like, the more P bags I get in Death Mountain, the more... Like, the more of a chance I have to come out 4, 2, 3 in Death Mountain to nullify. It's like I like pretty much nullify the damages. build up life to the process. It's not like I want to do it too early, but I kind of need to build it up for the... to, like... It's like I need to build up experience to, to like, kind of get a little payback on the bad luck. It's like if I just fall short, there's not really much I can work with. Nice, got it. I'm not sure what the next part of the minip is, but I think I just cut through there. Well, that was disappointing. That was disappointing, I was doing pretty good. start. And then that happens. Fill my health. Uh, kind of need a life refill here. And of course, I don't want to take deaths because it's kind of important. I keep some safety on my hands. I 
Gotta be safe and stuff, you know? Time for a... if I can find one. Alright, this is the one. This is the one I was looking for. Okay, time for a Death Mountain. I'm not going to be good. Lots can go wrong if I have three attack- if I have attack three. Of course bots will get one shot, but... Get off me. Give me enough to do life. I'm thrown off. I'm terribly thrown off right now. Let me see if I can build up for attack four. Let's try that. Let's try the attack four build up. If I can get that, then should be able to get back on par here. It's not. have much room to build a more experience. I'm just trying to get every possible chance I can for experience. Like these guys. I like both support directions. Both split in directions. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. Need a little more drops. Alright, I need 311 more experience, and I don't think I'm gonna get- I don't think I'm on pace to get that. I need 198 more. Yikes, this won't be- this won't be good. Uh, this is not good pace for experience. Yeah, I've got two more rooms to go and I gotta... I 
Alright, that's Thanks. something. I'm getting there. We're getting there. Just a little more and I'll have attack four. Nice. Now, if I can get a quick 150 here, um... Yeah, if I can get a quick 150, I'll be back up to 423. And I'll have no problem. If I can just get... If I can just get this much more experience, I'll be back on track. And I gotta remember, don't up an A too early. Oh, nice, that drop was pretty much what I wanted. Except I'm not gonna be 423 immediately. Remember, don't up an A until after I get the magic container. I made this mistake last time and I had to go all I had to traverse through Death Mountain a second time just because of that mistake. One more kill and I'll pretty much just be back I'll pretty much be back on the experience pace that I need. There we go. Nice, we're back on four two three. Alright. We're fine now. Now I'm fine. Nice. Four, two, three. That's more like it. That's more like it. My favorite move in the game, downstab. Downstab is great. Pretty much get all the, pretty much get all the crappy enemies out of your way. You just curb stomp them. I wonder, was it actually, is it actually faster for me to just up an A than go for the rest? Like yeah, you can't get you can't get the fairy spell until you until you manage to get the medicine. But as long as you don't have the medicine, you just can't do that quest. Uh, just a little more. Oh my god. Did it again, boys. Did it again. Okay, this is not good rivers. These are not good rivers. These are not good rivers. I have a very good chance to die now. That threw me off. There's my guy here. Alright, I got quick axe. That was interesting. So I get quick axed and, um, yeah, that's a death. This impacts my whole... It is gonna impact my pace.
And I don't want to make the same mistake that I did my last run, having 776 for my endgame stats. That was... No, 766. That was... Like, actually, no, 767. That was terrible. Like, seriously, having Magic 6 means you can only cast Thunder for Thunderbird, which means you literally get no protection. You have no way of being able to protect yourself, because you just... You just used up all your magic to cast a spell that is able to make Thunderbird vulnerable, and it's the only way you can defeat him. Or even attack him to begin with. Well, the only way you can actually defeat him is using that to expose the vulnerability and then just going in. That was super strange. Super strange encounters. <laughs> well, whatever, that means I can just cut right through here. Without getting any kind of weird encounter scenario. Oh, back spawn. Didn't last too long, though. That back spawn didn't last too long. Yeah, that wasn't gonna last too long. I don't need that. Bots are rude as hell. They control you. They can throw you in a lot as they desire. <clears throat> These guys can throw you in a lot as they please. Waste your precious links. That was cool. Uh, I think that was because I gave too much hits on myself. I gave myself too much knockback. I'm gonna have a chance to die in there. There was a good chance for those fairy... those fairy shenanigans.
damn it! That's so tempting! So tempting with those red jars. That threw me off. I want that. That was a really good palace too. Nice palace too. Alright, time for the real stuff. At this point, it's very stupid. Oh, I was trying to make sure that they didn't get any guys. Ah, uh, that's really bad. That's really bad timing. The worst time I can get caught in that. That was the worst time I could have gotten caught there. It's getting caught inside a bunch of ghosts. All because they managed to show up just barely faster. Oh, that was perfect. Well, that was not perfect. It's getting caught by this guy. Alright, second try. <sighs> second try, whatever. At least this time I won't game over like crazy, just lose where I'm trying to lose my mind trying to figure out where I actually am supposed to be at. This time this shouldn't happen. That AI is erratic as hell. That's one erratic AI. Alright. Huh. 
Oh boy. this up. Alright, time to build up more experience. boss's name is, so I just typed in Rubbo. Wow, good, good boss. Last time they were just, last time they were just hanging onto the platform like they couldn't, like they couldn't hold, like they couldn't live for any longer. That's impressive. Let me see if I can ferry real quick. Because again, I have just enough. I have just enough to do it. Uh, I want to be safe. Oh my god, I got zombie health. Oh shit. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Next hit, I die. And right back. Messed up the timing. Messed up the timing and this happens. I think for backup purposes I'm just gonna go down here and get a pee bag and another red iron knuckle. So then I'm pretty much guaranteed. Jump physics are ridiculous when you have the spell activated. Quite something else. Wow, that was really good. I didn't fail this time. I didn't fail this time, which is a plus. Nice, 40-20 out of P3. Definitely gonna be something if this succeeds. If this succeeds, this could be a pretty nice, pretty nice start to running. 
go out of bounds 100%. I forgot to hit up. Forgot to hit up while doing that transition. That's gonna be tragic. <laughs> I have nearly 20 minutes I can save on the Great Palace split itself. That could tell you many things if I get my magic level correctly aligned, because if it's level 6 again, that's not going to be too good. I think I should be going this way. Going up this way is much faster. Not like there's not like there's anything else I can do in here yet. Not like there's anything I can do there yet. Oh jeez, I thought I messed it up. I did mess it up. I don't know if I was a frame off of my inputs or my timing was just thrown off by something else. I am confused. Oh wait, oh, I was supposed to go grab the child first. Okay, that was a pretty bad mistake on my part. Not the part where we actually enter in the beginner route. That wasn't too good for... God, where I was going and that happens. <laughs> okay, I felt like I was gonna do that way too late. Just Watch the... Never mind, I just said it. I just said it. I just said it. You don't need to say it. Ah, shit. Did I get hit? Did I even get hit? Okay, that time I got hit. I was trying to yellow that. Come on. 
There we go. There we go. First try and third try. Not too great. Not too great, but I'll take it. Weird how I'm trying to close out the text box. It's like you have to press B. Yeah, you, you have to be careful not to accidentally activate the text box again. Why well, save time on that? Save time on that? I don't understand. That was some iffy luck. Okay, I botched up the minip. I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Yep, I'm gonna get hit. Oh shit, what? I tried to I tried to steer away. I tried to steer away from them. I tried to like, I tried to manipulate them away from me and I didn't get it. it sucks. Oh man. I was trying to gain speed while I was bouncing on them. Okay, these tech techs are likely gonna kill me. But they they spared me, I guess. They spared me, I guess. I deserved getting hit by that. Fuck okay, yeah, I deserved that too. Yeah, very likely he could have died.
Not great for that kind of situation. I was asking for this. Oh god, I'm actually gonna fail this palace already. I got too damn greedy, that's what happened. I got too greedy. I got too greedy and that happened. Jeez, I better hope I have the experience count here. Hope I do get a proper setup here. Okay, my counters. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go get those skeleton guys. And then I have to die again to make sure I can cast Reflex. Is that match level 3? You definitely are not gonna do that. That might... that might get me to 734. That might directly get me 734. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? So I can't even cast Reflex, so I'm gonna have to die. So now we're on our last life, and we're gonna we're gonna cast Reflex. Shield, and then we'll be able to, be able to actually battle. And you simply just, you just simply bounce these back until he dies. If you get bad, if you get slightly bad luck, you can just teleport right where you are, and then you just get hit straight up. What the fuck? You can't be serious, he almost killed me. He almost killed me just by teleporting all of me. You're kidding me. You know, I almost died. I'll get 734 at least. So we're gonna be ahead there just because I haven't gotten any I haven't gotten any unintentional game overs yet, but I could easily just be saying this and then get a game over very quickly. So now I gotta loop back. Seven three four. Now we gotta go head off to the right. So we can go get the boots. And we just up and A out of there. And yeah, up and A. Like speaking of I have done one hundred percent all keys in the past, but it's like Man, is it hard? It's not hard to even not game over in it, because you literally have that ridiculous restriction on you. That, wait, am I going the right way here? Nope. I forgot I have to go down to four. I have to go down one. So I can get, so I can be on balance here. Ferry through. Alright, no unintentional game overs so far. A lot better than 100% all keys in terms of me being able to actually survive without unintentional game overs. 
Dang it, we're up in A and for extra lives at points. And in the beginning route, you'd end up doing them way more often. I think like a total of 12 or 13 different up and A's would pull off in this. That's something. That's quite something. I actually got hit, damn. Alright. <laughs> that was close. Spare my magic. Yeah, wrong path. Again, I'm just going on the wrong I'm going on the wrong part. Oh! Pee bag. Something. Then again, I can easily build up to getting 766 and balance 5. Because this is the easiest spot in the game to farm experience points. But even then, the palaces permanently crumble on that save file once you get everything in said palace. So, the problem ends up being, how are you, where are you gonna grind after Palace 5? I can't cast jump. Oh shit. Alright. Oh, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Just wait for the blocks to pile up and then we're gonna, gonna dare our ways through with ingenious science. Oh look at that look at that column. It filled up pretty fast. Alright, I think we can dig in. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. You've gotta be kidding. That guy just caught in right when I got the key. What a, what a jerk ass. What a jerk ass. He just spits fire all over the floor. That's what he does every day. In fact, since I died, I don't even need that. I don't even need to get that red jar. It's just... Wrong path. 
keep going on the wrong paths. Or rather, I keep going on the wrong paths. Alright.
I'm trying to remember, I need it I need spell spells so I can get the magic key. And that'll pretty much just let me use keys infinite times. Yeah, in Palace 6 there's keys that still drop as of as if you haven't even gotten that yet. Like, you still could beat the game without the magic key, but it's much better if you can actually just have it. <laughs> Palace 6. This is gonna be interesting. I only have one life. Um, I don't know if I want to go for the extra lane for safety's sake. I do. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do this. Because there were already extra links way earlier on, and I'm pretty much in the later part of the game, and I pretty much can't risk it now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to try to get the 3500. Oh, I got a red jar. Let's see if I can pull it. Ah. Nice, thanks. Alright, I'm gonna wanna grind here. I want to grind as I go. Oh no, I got cookie cutters. Those little fuckers are aggressive. Fuckers are aggressive. Yeah, I need the 3500 just so I can pull this off. Because if I can get 3500 before I game over, then I'll pretty much just have exactly what I need. So I forgot the split. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna wait until this guy drops the jar. Four? Come on. Come on, this is gonna get stupid. This is gonna be like Pokemon stupid. Alright, there we go. Five tries just to get a red jar. I want to safely get the experience points here, so... If I can get 3,500... Uh, wait! I got opportunities up here, actually. So I'm pretty much just gonna take a little de- I'm just gonna take some salt detours, see if I can go get more experience. see if I can just take detours and get 3,500. Because I could convert those and just get a really nice set. Ah, don't do that. Don't make that mistake. Make this mistake. you.
Okay, I want that 3500 now. Got it. I don't care. I needed this because I don't want to make that mistake ever again. I do not want to make that mistake ever again. That mistake being Magic Six Thunderbird. I don't want to do that ever again. I really don't want to do this mistake again. Aww. Oh no. That's really dangerously close to the screen. Nope, we're fine. I was scared for my life. I thought I was going to soft lock. I was going to soft lock on sub 2 pace. Well, this re well, with Magic 7, this can definitely be more of a sub 2 than anything. Because... It's kind of bullshit. I don't have to sit there. Also, I definitely want to get the extra life here before the second Rebo. I'm going to protect, because... So you know how you know how that could have ended if I just got hit, right? Could have ended with a score for Ganon. Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way, damn. I'm going the wrong way. This is really bad. <laughs> ah, that's terrible. I was gonna have a very good chance of just gonna blow it. Um, I already got that first rebel. Where the fuck am I going now? Aren't I supposed to fall down at one point? That was a truck. I assume that was a steamer truck. There we go. Fall two times. One. Two. And now we're on the right spot. Alright, good chance I could die. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Alright, very high chance I'll die here. Very high chance. Oh, Jesus. This is getting really terrifying, because... The more I'm hanging on to my last life, the, the more ridiculous this becomes. Oh my god, what a save. What a saver. What a fucking saver. Just got all my health back. Um, now I can't... <laughs> I can! <laughs> I'm just not familiar with high level... With high level... With high level spell casts. Just casting them at a high magic level, I'm just confused if I can actually do it or not. Hey, at least we can do this one. Let's 
do it. See if we can just leave it at one game over. See if we can do it. Oh, I'm supposed to head up before. Why do I keep heading down and it's just forgetting this is not the optimal path to the second Rabo. I got hit by that. Okay, it was not a good idea to try to jackhammer to change my placement. That was not a good idea, I'll tell you that. So not a good idea. Alright, second Rebo. Except I have no magic to cast shields. Alright, it's gonna be hit or miss if I don't. That one's easier for some reason. That one's easier to kill. Now should I go? Now this is gonna be the moment of my life. Um Ah, shit. Well, I'm fucked. I'm actually fucked. So, here's the problem. I'm not gonna be able to get high enough from a regular jump to actually make this pit climb. I'm on my last life, so I'll game over if I die to try to do death abuse. I think I'm... I think I have to game over for a second time, intentionally. I think this is the second time I have to game over because of bullshit. I'll just... I'll just up an A to finish it off faster. No, there I don't see that chocolate... chocolate Easter egg targeted rabbit. Seriously, getting it on the game over screen kind of looks like a silhouette of... bald bowl. Not only that, but... I feel like it's like some kind of like reject chocolate bunny. Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be like an Easter mascot, and then it just miserably failed. And it somehow managed to res it just somehow managed to resurrect itself. What do you guys think? Is that, a, is that enough of a bullshit theory? Okay, don't hit down. Don't hit down or else that minute doesn't work. That minute won't work if you press down, apparently. Arrgh. They stalled! Quick, I need to get to Barba! I need to reach Barba! <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta find my Barba! <laughs> I'm too bored now. Mark down this is a sub two of two game overs. And if all goes well, this actually should be a pretty big sub two. If stuff goes well, considering what just happened. If that game if that fourth game over didn't have to happen, just because just because I was losing lives to some other stuff, then this could have been even further into the sub twos. Like But they'd very easily just be massive PVs. Oh god, I just got double encounters on two steps. So, I'm just got to ferry across here. Just to make my trip easier. Because I already have Magic 7, so at this point I pretty much don't have to worry. When I, when I drop, when I place the crystal, I'll then have to just get life 7 then. That's pretty much it for the level routing of mine. So assuming I'm looking at the tutorials looking at correctly, you would probably have 777 going into Great Palace. Which means with Magic 7, you can cast other stuff to make your journey easier. Mainly for Thunderbird because he's an asshole. 
really, if you really want to have an easier time destroying him, you're going to need more than just casting thunder. Magic level 7, you'll be able to cast something else on top of it. I don't think that's going to ceiling, I don't think I'm going to ceiling walk, nope. No ceiling walk there. But, that's a little bit nothing, nothing to worry about. Uh, I hate these Medusas. These Medusa heads are awful. They're really bad. They're just terrible. Oh, that bounced. That bounced back. This time I have extra lives. So now I shouldn't have to worry about game overs. Except if Thunderbird goes wrong. If Thunderbird goes wrong, then we're probably gonna lose sub two by a small margin. Then again, you have to account for that huge walk. Since I have the magic now, I can just highlight fairy, just queue it up. I don't need this one up, because I already gave him over it, so I have three more. I can just fairy here. And I'll just meet Barba. Just lose another three minutes to game over, so that's like six minutes to game over is already. Good. I definitely don't know how to do fast Barba. Lame. We're going on the left. Wow, I almost died. Yep, three minutes lost to game overs. Impressive. Nice. 206 BPT. And that's gonna change once I get a once I finish this one, because my palace is gonna be much better this time, I know that. I know for sure that Great Palace will be a lot better this time. Fairy here for some real safety because I mean you want to fairy across and back. You definitely want to keep that fairy magic. So triple sevens for my stats. I'd call this like seven 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 for beginners. Also, going here is the only way you can fight Thunderbird, because you'll get Thunder, and, and that spell lets you make Thunderbird vulnerable to your attacks. Makes them vulnerable to your attacks, basically. Alright, I think I'll have enough magic to cast one more fairy if I get a, if I get a blue jar. If I get a red, I'll pretty much just be able to cast another three. Oh no, you can't get those. Oh, I actually can cast Fairy for a third time. Just make this much easier for me, just Fairy across. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Get me out of there! Yeah, 
There we go. Alright, we got that skip. So we can get the right jar. Dang it. Got it. Okay, second try there. Alright, I was gonna get hit by that no matter what. Was that, was that even a counter skip? Was that, was that even a skip? Is that actually a skip? Oh my god. I blindly guessed and I got it. I blindly guessed that there was going to be a skip right on that tile. And I guessed correctly. Wow. Stuff's definitely making... Great Palace Entry is much faster in this one. It's definitely making it much easier for me to get in the Great Palace. If I knew this back when I was 12, I would have had a much bigger likelihood of actually beating the game. Because, you know... So, you know, that would have been great to know as a 12-year-old. It would have been great to know at 12, but sadly I didn't know that. Okay, I think that was a little too late. I think that was too late. Now I got it. Okay. Dude, nice. Nice mini jackhammer. Oh boy. So if I do this correctly, I might be able to just pull off a pretty solid improvement. So now I'll really have to work on not game overing. Chapter twice. Palace six before Barba. I think I had a game over on Palace 4, I believe. Yeah, Palace 4, I had a game over near the end of Palace 6, I had to do another one. And I'm talking like... And I'm talking like unintentional ones. Which I pretty much had a force on myself because I got really bad luck with losing lengths earlier. So then I wouldn't be able to perform the efficient death abuses that I wanted to do. So then, the only choice would be to game over and just take the time to walk back, get my other stuff. Uh, miss input. Get him out of my way before he actually snakes me. Just gotta get him out of my way. So. Oh my. 
Could it be? That is not the real path. I was thinking here I had to go to the left. Here I was thinking I had to go to the left. So I just wasted a fairy. I can't cast another now, because my magic just depleted. Alright, just get out of my way, little tomahawk firebird. Oh, come on. Come on, you gotta be kidding. Two. <clears throat> three. It took three tries. I had to go for it. I had to see if I could exterminate him before he got me. Oh, that was the fight of a lifetime. That was the fight of a lifetime. That's gonna be an interesting watch. Alright, my safety, I'll get the extra life. I know very well this... I know very well I'm gonna have to death abuse. I don't want this to fail. I really don't want this to just die. Oh, right in the hallway? Come on. If he just jumps at me right into the hallway, that's really bad. Right, that's better. Just run through before he snipes. Wow. Wow, that they are all gone. Wow. What the fuck? Like, these bots end up behaving so nicely and then all the others just out of garbage. <laughs> right here I go left, I think. I do the death boost. Die right here and then we're gonna go for it. Jesus, all this. That'd be a scam number. Oh my god, that was pure reaction. That was pure reaction time. 
That was fucking great. <laughs> Alright. With Magic 7, I think I can cast something else on top of this. Let's see how much I get after. Oh, yeah, I could cast... Reflect. Yes, I can cast Reflect! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's close it out. Okay, Dark Link. Just don't be a dick. Cool. Nice PB. Two unintentional game overs, but hey. Sub 150. Pretty good for starting out. Really good. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Maybe, maybe sub 100. Soon. Just gotta get better at. Just gotta get better at the parts of the game over then. Mainly, just try to hold up in Palace Five all the way to Palace Six. Doing pretty bad in Palace 5. I was I pretty much Oh yeah, I had a game over in Palace 5. And then I was just struggling trying to hold up in Palace 6 without game overing too. So it was mainly it's mainly late game that was messing me up pretty bad. Still pretty large PB. Sub 100 minutes soon, I guess. Again. And I just said it twice. I like this more than all keys. Don't have to worry about unintended I don't have to worry about accidental game overs. And plus I can pretty much just submit my runs right onto this leaderboard. Thanks a million. <laughs> cool PB. I'll get this up pretty soon. So then I'll just kind of try to work on stuff and see if I can get sub 100 minutes. Basically, just get 139 or better. And uh, considering the war record of this is just under an hour and a minute, got a lot more work to do. A lot of work. Man, I just get better at navigation and stuff and try not to fuck things up. And also, if I can get a... If I can get a... If I can get a... If I can get a run that doesn't have an accidental game over, then I can pretty much 
say, that is a pretty nice run. Then I'd have to really push to keep myself up in skill. It's <laughs> going up and splits that IO. Alright. So if we subtract two from this. I basically did 11 up and A's and then two accidental game overs. Cool stuff. This time I had 777 so I could actually not mess up Thunderbird this time. <laughs>